So, Bishop, uh, the day is almost here. We're going to have two new auxiliary bishops, and you'll be ordaining them on Monday. Uh, what do these two men, Bishops uh, Masser and Rojewski, what do they bring to the diocese? Well, Bishop Masser, who's now the uh, mother of the Choria, has a lot of uh, theological background, really. He was a teacher in the seminary for many years. But also, he's a very good administrator. I'm trying him out to see how he does it. He's really very good on details and understands, very understanding of situations and people. So he really has a, a, an ability to bring a lot of things together, which is really important in a diocese our size. And uh, Father Vito Majeski, really now to be a bishop, uh, in the service of the whole diocese, but also especially the Polish community. We have almost 20 parishes uh, with the Polish mass, so and we have 90,000 Polish born in the diocese. That's not counting their children. Those are just people born in Poland. So we really have a large Polish community, very faithful Catholics, and they need leadership too. Each group looks to have someone they can look up to, and mm -hmm. uh, so it, would, it would really worked out. We had this uh, you know, with the Haitians and uh, Spanish speaking, so this is uh, the ter turn to have someone uh, in the Episcopacy. Yeah. Now, of course, we're going to be broadcasting the ceremony live here on net. Uh, what are some of the highlights of the ceremony that people who are looking in on should look for? Well, certainly dramatically is the prostration, which happens in all ordinations to the to orders, diaconate, priest, and episcopacy. Uh, so that's one of the highlights, I think, praying at the litany of the saints. Then we have the laying on of hands by all the bishops that are there. And then also the anointing, which is very significant from the Old Testament. Their, their heads are anointed. And priest, it's their hands, but now we anoint the head of the bishop, uh, which is significant. And uh, then uh, one of the other things is nice is when they are taken around the cathedral to greet the people, give the blessing, it's, uh, it's that towards the end. So there's a lot of significant moments that uh, remind us of what the bishop's responsibility was. And the other thing is the laying on of the, the gospel on their head. Mm -hmm. with two deacons holding that over them because that's a it's a really heavy responsibility to preach the gospel preach the truth and that's uh, symbolically that's how it's done yeah you mentioned anointing that's using some of the oils that you uh, chrism the chrism yeah. is used in baptism confirmation and holy orders sure the uh, what is the role of an auxiliary bishop i think some people might not understand well, that the, the auxiliary bishop means they're a helper to the bishop uh to the ordinary and uh, again, they all have different responsibilities. Um, some of them are now are pastors, besides having other responsibilities in the diocese. Um, for Bishop Massa, we're, I'm asking him to help me with the visitation to the parishes. It takes uh, maybe four or five years to get around to everything. This way, we might cut the time down in half. Mm -hmm. So they would get a bishop there for a formal consultation. Uh, with the people after the, the, the visitation mass. So when he'll be helping in that area. And I asked uh, Bishop Vito to go to all the Polish parishes with his Polish mass to introduce himself, get to know what the issues are so that we can get that apostolate moving also. Mm -hmm. And each bishop is assigned what they call a titular see. Right. Could you explain what that is? Well, because the bishop has to be a bishop of a place, some of the dioceses that are no longer in existence different places that actually the two of them have dioceses in this country. Yeah, that that's unusual, isn't it? Well, it is a bit. I mean, they were starting early in the uh, 1800s and the cities that looked like they were going to get big, um, one reason or another, but then they got small, so they were joined to another diocese. So they have uh, two, Bardstown and uh, Walla Walla, <laughs> wherever that is. I think it's in Washington. <laughs> so, but uh, my titular see when I was a bishop was in Africa, in Mauritania. Uh -huh. So, uh, did you ever get to go? No, visit? I didn't get to go there. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a lot of visiting bishops who will be here for the ceremony. Uh, uh, at least uh, almost thirty-five. And a couple of cardinals, right? Yes, uh, yeah. Cardinal McCarrick and Cardinal Dolan. Okay. Well, we look forward to bringing uh, all of the action, uh, so yeah. to speak, to, to the people here and. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to the day. So, Bishop, uh, thank you so much. Okay. Enjoy the ceremony. You're welcome.